Hi, how you doing? Sergeant Donovan Lucas, Utah Highway Patrol Motor Squad. I'm going to talk about construction zone, some of the cautious or the awareness that you need to have out there as far as uh, surface appraisal for both the motorcyclist and the uh, car. One of the big things is uh, there may be dirt, rocks, and different uh, uh, asphalt that may be loose or any number of things that could be there. They put the barrier up that uh, uh, is about an inch or so off the ground. How do you uh, drive over that uh, without falling down? That would be a bad thing obviously. Um, so we're going to check to make sure the surface appraisal is there. You should be updating that all the time. Whether you be in a car or a motorcycle, that's a, an important thing to do. Um, as you can look over here to the right and to the ground, there's a little bit of dirt and, and things like that. Uh, that can get on your tires and, and wash you out, um, depending on how good your tires are. Uh, I had a young lady the other day that uh, stopped out on um, scared to death. It's raining like crazy out there. Um, she says that her tires are, are really low uh, uh, in tread and she was concerned about that obviously because she wasn't sticking to the road. She felt herself drifting or hydroplaning and things. So uh, get out there. Unfortunately they may cost a little bit of money but uh, you might need to spend the money to get that stuff fixed there. Um, but like I say just make sure you're paying attention to the service that, that's out there. Some of the other things that we've talked about as far as surface appraisal go, as you can see in front of us right there, that uh, crosswalk is brick. Uh, when that stuff gets wet, uh, it can get slippery, along as well as the lane lines that are along the side of the road, left or right. Um, so you may want to stay back behind those things. A lot of people don't realize that even in their cars, but uh, that's something that they may need to be aware of also. You know, you stop back here on a snowy day or something and there's ice, uh, you may grab a little bit and then all of a sudden you're sliding faster. Uh, that's probably what it is. It may not be your tires or even the ABS. It could be the surface that's there due to the fact that it's uh, wet, icy or anything, and then it's painted lines. Uh, so beware of that type of thing. Uh, so I'm looking ahead of me here, obviously way up ahead of me, so I can see what's going to happen there. This uh, Pathfinder, he's got his left turn signal on, so we're good to go, but I was going to back off and let him move over to the right in front of me uh, just in case he was going to try to do uh, that because the last thing I want to do is have him cut me off out in front. Uh, see the workers out in front, be aware of them. Do they have signs that are saying stop or slow down? Uh, what is it that we're coming up on? Left lane has uh, been taken away. There's no left turns. Um, do people make left turns when there's no left turns? Yes, they do, unfortunately. Um, but those are things that you may need to be aware of that may come out all of nowhere, uh, both in the car and on a motorcycle. Something also, if you look to your left here, the uh, number two turn lane, which is that second lane uh, that's there, is not there. Um, somebody may decide to turn at last minute into your lane, uh, so you might want to watch for that type of thing. Luckily, there's nobody there, so I'm watching to see if there's anybody going to come in front of me or any number of things that could take place. Um, so as I look at this intersection, I've got water all over the road there. Um, something that you might want to pay attention to as a motorist as well is to make sure that they uh, see that in front of you. Uh, two wheels stop better, but at the same time they may not stop as good as you want to. Uh, motorcyclist goes down in front of you, uh, last thing you want to do is obviously run them over. Uh, thanks for riding with me. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.